Hi, I'm Therese. And I'm Samantha. And, and you're, you're watching BNBC News. As you can see, we're not Neil and Theo. They're graduating. We're the better version. Speaking of graduation, let's toss it over to Carter for On Campus. Hi, Dr. Moore. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, thank you. All right. Uh, we have a couple of questions for you. Are you settling into your new role at Bishop? I love it here. It is uh, an amazing place. It feels like home. And uh, I am so excited about uh, getting to know all of you and the bright future that we have ahead here. What goes into planning at a graduation? Uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes and all credit to Mrs. Schuster, who actually organizes the event. Uh, I want to get more staff and students involved, so rather than just the principal on stage talking and presenting all the awards, um, you'll see a lot more teachers involved and uh, salutatorian, valedictorian uh, class officers will have an opportunity to speak and lead prayer. So I want it to be as engaging and as evolving um, as it can be, but it takes a tremendous amount of hard work to make things look easy. What advice would you give to a graduating senior? I would tell them to keep your, your heart and mind open to the possibilities that await you. I went to college originally as a neurosurgery major and now I sit here as the principal of Bishop. I never saw that come up. So you just have to be open to the twists and turns. The path to success is rarely linear. So just keep your, your hearts and minds open. Thank you for your time, Dr. Moore. Wow, Dr. Moore is really stepping up to the plate. Speaking of stepping up to the plate, let's slide over to Jacob for Play by Play. Where he'll check in with our back-to-back -back district champs. Hi, my name is Jacob and I'm here with? Matthew. So what's your prediction on the game coming up? Uh, we're going to win. Uh, we're going to send them back home. Yeah! And I have a question that the students have been wondering. Why did you dye your hair blonde? Uh, for playoffs, uh, every school does it, and I decided to join in. All right, so what's one more thing you think your team would benefit from this season? Uh, Dustin Moore. That's all I got to say. Wow, I wonder what the science is behind that bleach blonde hair. You know who would know? The entire science department. Let's jump over to teacher time. How long have you guys been at the school for? I've been here for 16 years. This is my 19th year here at Bishop. And this is my 15th. Out of all those years you've been here, what is your favorite member? One of the best things that I can remember is our spade club. Just shortly after we uh, got them started, they actually won a national award for creating uh, mechanical hands for children who have uh, various physical deformities. My favorite memory is the memory that we have of all of our kids growing up here. So when I first met Mrs. Schuster's daughter, she was three years old. My son was less than a year, and Ms. Shecker had her daughter <laughs> while she was here also. So just watching them all grow up. It's not really one memory, but really just the collective, you know, many, many years that we've been together. Um, there's been so many highs and, and so many lows, and constantly to have these two um, fabulous teachers here um, as a constant support and, and the laughs and the joy and, and everything. Um, it's hard to quantify 15 years in, in one sentence, um, but it's that collective time together that we've spent that's really important to me. Yeah, that was really, that was really nice. Um, well, I wish you guys best of luck. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, I'm really going to miss those gals. Maybe we'll see them over the summer. Ugh, oh, summer. I wonder what all the Bishop students are doing. Let's jump over to Question of the Week. The 2023-2024 year at Bishop is almost over, and everyone's going to go to summer now. So let's see what everyone has planned for the summer. What are you doing over the summer? Sleeping. I don't know. Hold on. Do you have anything planned for the summer? Not yet. It's a little early. It's what? There's like three weeks. You gotta ask me like in two weeks. Um, well, I'm helping Mr. Cragen move to New Orleans, and then I'm going on a cruise to the Cayman Islands and to the Bahamas. SpongeBob the Musical. Uh, going feral. I'm gonna be working for Notre Dame. What are you doing over the summer? Working. Me and the boys are going to North Carolina. I'm going to North Carolina. I'm going to be working all time. I'm going to be going to Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll get a haircut, hopefully. Well, whatever your plans are. We hope you have a great summer, Canes. As for us, see, see you next, next time, time on BNBC News. Ooh, yikes. Well, hey, there's always next year. We're, We're not, not doing, doing this next year. year.